Carrie Majewitz and I'm the Technical Services Archivist here at the Historical Society of Pennsylvania and I'm responsible mainly for processing collections that come through. This is a series of photos from the Fenton and Remack family papers and the Fentons and the Remacks were two Philadelphia families. Um, Thomas Fenton and Lizzie Remack. Thomas became an ophthalmologist here in Philadelphia. Uh, Lizzie was his wife. These primarily date from about the turn of the century, 1900, 1910, uh, maybe a little bit earlier based on some of the people that are, that are in these pictures. There's two other albums like this in the collection and some of those contain animal pictures. And what's great is that these aren't just these aren't just pictures of livestock or sheep or, you know, horses. They're actually pictures of the family's companion animals, cats and dogs. Now there are horses and cows as well, but for the most part, um, they're very candid shots of these animals. What's great about these photos, specifically of the animals, is that you don't find, at least in our collections, this sort of large group of photos devoted to animals. You see lots of people and places and landscapes and buildings. Um, but to have pictures of cats and dogs, and cats and dogs interacting with each other, as well as with family members, is really, really great. The so ones with the animals that are dressed up are really kind of, <laughs> kind of special because, I mean, nowadays you can go in there, you know, if they have specialty shops devoted to clothes for animals. Well, in 1910, maybe they didn't quite, maybe they didn't, and, and somebody had to come up with their own ideas. I think what's really great about a collection like this is that in addition to it being, you know, a collection of family papers, this family, somebody in the family, at least put a little bit of time into saving the photographs. Um, I imagine that in this time, Many, many more photographs of animals are taken because why not? Um, but for one family to save this many and to have this many survive to this day is really fantastic. So in a hundred years, when people are you know researching the history of companion animals or the history of lolcat videos, here's where it's going to start.